Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Drain and Plays back again with another video and I'm bringing you Motivational Monday episode 12. It's actually crazy that I'm still doing this series. It's one of the favorite things that I have on this channel and I'm really glad that I'm still doing it because it's something different than zombies and honestly, I really like that. Like, you know, stuff like this, like story time with Drain and it's really cool and I really enjoy doing it. So today I wanted to talk about taking risks in life and honestly, Taking risks is one of the most important things in life because basically, if you really think about it, you are taking a risk all the time. Let's 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 just think about it, okay? You go to school, you're taking a risk that you're gonna slip, fall, and crack your head open or something like that. At the end of the day, you're still taking that risk. Okay, let's let's make another example. You go into the city, you know, go into a city, go to a restaurant or something. You know, there's a risk that you know, hey, some guy's not gonna like you, he's gonna shoot you. It, it there's always a risk that's gonna happen. It's less than one percent chance of it happening but it's still technically a risk. And honestly, taking risks is the most important thing I would say in life because if you wanna have a really like fruitful life and you wanna do a lot of things that you know you want to do, you gotta take that risk. And again, it's just, life is just one huge risk when you really think about it. For example, I used to have a crush on this girl and I didn't know she liked me or not, but I took the risk and I asked her out. She said yes, I had a relationship with her for about two months or so, and it was a really nice time. And that would have never happened if I never took the risk and asked her out on date. Another example, I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I had to spend a lot of money on equipment and a lot of things like that. And I knew it was gonna be a lot of time, take a lot of patience, and it was gonna be a risk because you know I could have had, I could be getting a job at that point and making money rather than trying out this YouTube thing, a goal that I've had. For a very long time so i started this youtube thing pretty big risk didn't work out for the first like month or so i was having a lot of trouble you know doing a lot of stuff with it but now i'm having so much fun with it and i've got you know a good i've got 142 subscribers which is pretty good and i'm loving every second of it and it's definitely worth all the money that i paid to get all this equipment another risk and you know it's just stuff like that you gotta take a risk to do something that you really want in life if there's something new that you want to try you gotta take that risk because if it doesn't work out then, you know, hey, it just doesn't work out. End of the day, you know, it doesn't work out. You can't hang your head on it. you got to just move on and do, do the next thing. Now, if it's a really bad risk, like, say, you're going to some party where people are have guns or something, and you're just like, oh, I could have a good time at that party where people have guns. Yeah, don't take that risk. Don't take that risk. you got to know the smart risks. And you know what? Some of them are worth taking, some of them aren't. But I believe the ones that are worth taking are some of the most important things in life as a whole. Because, again, life is one huge risk and you got to take those risks to have a good life. Like people, honestly, going to college is sort of a risk. Like you could get a job out of out of high school and, you know, be, you wouldn't be financially stable, I would say. But you'd at least have a job and maybe get an apartment, you know, do stuff like that. Going to college is a pretty big risk because, you know, if you don't work out in college, you just wasted all that money for like nothing, you know. And if, if it just doesn't work out and, you know, you say college isn't for me, then you just waste a bunch of money. Most people do work out in college, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a risk. And, again, r risks are very important things in life. And I think everyone should take risks, the smart risks. Again, I'm not advising you to go out and be like, oh, well, I'm going to go uh, stand up some train tracks and, you know, risk risk my life trying to stand on, sit under the train tra sit under the tracks when the train is coming. Don't do that. Don't do anything stupid. You guys you guys know. You guys are smart enough to do that. So I remember a couple weeks ago, I was going to answer some questions on, you know, things that people wanted me to answer. They DM me on Twitter. And I got two questions, both from uh, David. He's a loyal subscriber of mine. And the first question that he asked me was, how do I make friends? And basically, how I make friends is I find people with similar interests of that of mine. Or basically, the, they're similar personalities of mine as well. And once I'm around those people, it's almost like being around yourself and you feel very comfortable with it. And there you go. You got, you got friends. So basically just find people with similar interests of you and work, work it out from there. And you know, you'll make some very good friends in time and you got to make sure to make the right friends because if there's something, you know, that's bothering you and you can't talk to your friends about it, then maybe they're not the best friends for you. David also asks me, there's a girl he likes and he doesn't know how to talk to her or, you know, get, uh, get to date her. Basically, David, here's what I would do. You could text her, you know, or just, you know, email her, whatever whatever you do to communicate with your people. And, you know, just text her saying, like, 
start a conversation, start a conversation. And even if you don't text her, go up to her in school, start a conversation. And, you know, eventually it's going to keep going. If you keep talking to her, it's going to keep, you're going to keep like, it's just going to keep progressing. It's going to keep progressing. And then eventually, you know, if you feel comfortable enough and you want to ask her out, you want to ask her on a date, that would be very, that would be very good. And if she says no, she says no. You can't really do anything about it. And it's not really your fault. It's, it's, it's her fault because she misses what you're having. <laughs> but no. Basically, you know, you got again, you got to take that risk. That ties into the, my motivation Monday very perfectly, very perfectly. It ties into my motivation Monday perfectly today because, you know, again, you got to take that risk to ask her out because, you know, if she does say yes, look how it worked out for you. You have a girlfriend now, you know? It, it, it will work out. Don't worry, dude. Don't worry. So, yeah, that was Motivation on Monday, episode 12. I can't believe I'm this far. Taking risks in life, very important thing. Got to take the right risks, though. Don't do anything stupid, guys. But, yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you could leave a like and possibly subscribe to join the Dran Nation, that'd be great. Peace out, everybody. Got this beautiful face cam now. And stay draining.